What's up everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Ross McFarlane coming to you from Agency 3980 and in this video what I'm going to be doing is going to be building a Nutra native ads campaign using the Clickbank offer and I'm going to be using the native advertising traffic source Adstera. So as you can see I've got the computer here in front of me right now so what we're going to do is we're going to dive straight in and we're going to get started with the four steps which is finding an offer, building out a funnel, setting it up in the tracker and then setting it up within the traffic source which is going to be Adstera. So let's go and dive straight in. So as you can see that's us inside the video now and the four steps that we need to take in building a native ads campaign is step one we need to find an offer Step two, we need to build the funnel, we need to build the landing page, we need to go and grab some images. We can maybe even head over to the traffic source and see if we've got set dimensions, because that could affect our images. It could be really big or really small, so we'll maybe head over and do that. And also we need to grab some headlines. Now ideally what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an offer that's got an affiliate page so they can jump in and maybe steal some headlines or get some inspiration for some headlines there. After we've done that, we need to set it all up in the tracker, grab our campaign URL. Once we've grabbed our campaign URL, what we'll do is we'll then head over to the traffic source again and set up the campaign within the traffic source, which of course within this video is Adstera. So what we'll do is we'll head over to Clickbank now and we'll go and see if we can find ourselves an offer. So that's us over in Clickbank now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and head over to the marketplace, go on obviously the Nutra niche because that's the campaign that we're going to build. And I'm going to see what we can find, see what's trending, see if there's anything that's looking quite quite good for us to um, get started this. Here we go, health and fitness. This page, I'm going to put this in gravity. So we've got, this one's been the top performer for a while. Denny talks, a new angle. Just on drops me, open up the market. EPCs are through the roof. Denny talks, what are you? VSL, no, it's not a VSL, TSL. Okay, I'm not liking the look of this already. One simple way to maintain your perfect perfect smile. I'm not really feeling that. Um, the smoothie diet, rapid weight loss program, custom keto diet, Java burn. From research. No, that was a quick performing offer. Okay, maybe take a look at that. New gut and poop winner. <laughs> Sounds nice. Diabetes freedom. What have we got here? Cool, so this is going through to a VSL. Uh, I've got a headline here, which we could potentially use. So VSL just means I'm gonna to have to do a simple landing page, which is good for me, because I'm lazy that way. <laughs> and let's see if we've got anything on the affiliate page. Affiliate links, ad headlines, the big thing to use. See what we've got here. Green veggie inflammates blood sugar. Green veggie spikes blood sugar. Erratic blood sugar, never eat this veggie. Erratic blood sugar, avoid this healthy green veggie. Green veggie, deadly or for blood sugar. Okay, so it's given me an angle here, which is good. Um, green veggie angle, so it's good. I could use that for my creatives. Um, it's given me headlines as well, which, you, which I can use for my creatives. And it's also given me a VSL lander with a headline here. Which is um which is good so that uh, vs not a VSL lander sorry a VSL uh, offer page which is good so that means I have to only really create a simple uh pre-sale page which is uh, a lander like a one-click lander or an advertorial type page probably a one-click lander if I'm running to a VSL and it's also given me some good content for my um, image creatives and my headlines so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this offer here. So what is this? Diabetes Freedom, it's called. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to take that offer and that there is step one. Now I've found an offer. So now I've found an offer, what I need to do is I need to go and build up my funnel. So I need to go and build up the landing page. I need to find some creatives. I need to go and find some headlines. So what we'll do is first we'll go and build the landing page. So what I'll do is I'll head over to my landing page builder and then we'll go out and we'll go and build a pre-sale page, a bridge page, a landing page. Lots of different terminologies. But what we'll do is we'll head over and we'll go and start building out the landing page. So as you can see here, that's me inside the landing page builder. Now the landing page builder that I use for running 
our campaigns within the agency is called Landerize. Now, Landerize is part of the Debrew platform, which you can see here. The Debrew platform's every, got everything that you need for running your affiliate marketing business. Got a cash flow manager, tracker, um, landing page builder. It's got a community forum, very interactive community, all these different types of things. Everything that you need to build your affiliate marketing business. So, what we'll do is, I'm in the landing page builder now, and we'll go over to templates. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just going to do a quick filter. So I'm running native and I'm running Nutra. So you can see all the different options that I've got. I'm running Nutra and it's going to give me all the options here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a look at this one. Um, Dallas is already set for diabetes. Oh, great. Oh, well, cool. So I'll take this landing page name. It's dia, dia, diabetes lander one create cool so this one's uh how to relieve diabetes in a few days watch cool so this one's looking already pretty preset i'm going to change this image here i mean this one's looking quite good already to be honest what's the offer page looking like does it mention anything about the doctor versus type 2 diabetes. Okay, this one's looking quite good already, to be honest. It's already got a play button. Don't know whether I just keep that or whether I change it. I'll change it. I'll change it. Did you know? Okay, an Indian holistic natural three steps to prove diabetes without any modern medicine or procedures. Watch this video to uncover the real link between eggs, cinnamon, and diabetes. I don't change this part. Uh, green veggies cinnamon and diabetes and learn why big pharma companies don't want you to know okay cool so i'm just going to change this image over then because the text is pretty much everything that i need so all i need to do now is go ahead and just change this so green veggies what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that and i'm going to go and run with that um so i'm going to run with that so it's looking a bit more congruent even though this doctor here is looking like um it's, it's got a good authority a lot of traffic sources won't allow medical backed up stuff and medical photos and stuff. So what I'm going to do is just to kind of alleviate that just in case. I probably would get approved, but just in case it doesn't, I'm just going to take that away. And I'm going to make this a little bit more juicy as well to see if I can um, make this a little bit more enticing, a, more, a little bit more uh, clickable. So what I'll do is I'll head over in here and I'm going to start looking for um, green veggies. Images, so I need something like out there, but that's pretty simple stuff. Um, what's this? Oh, what's happened here? Oh, back. Get someone holding it, that would be even better. Like, that's they always work well holding. Digging person holding. Oh, like that. That could be good. Okay, let's leave that on the back burner. Let's see what else we've got here, actually. Okay, let's take a, a little more look. We might come back to that. And they're looking at the camera, that's just so much better. Like so this. And they're just looking at the camera, it just makes it so much more power powerful. I'm actually going to use that. Save image. I'll just do diabetes image one. Save. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Canva. design custom size let's use this i'm gonna uh, upload upload media diabetes image cool i'm gonna use that and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab one of my designs and all your designs I'm going to use this one here. Okay, pull that up. Out. Out. Move me back out of the way. Get out of the way, Ross. 
Um, okay, that's looking cool. Let me pull that down a bit. Delete that. And then I'll use upwards. See how this fits. Or oh, is that going to fit? Oh, that's looking nice. Put that right to the back. Back, 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 back. Is that fine, not right? Yeah, oh yeah, it's just something in the kitchen there. That's why I was thinking that was. Okay, play button on there. Um, play. I'll just like type in YouTube, see what comes up. YouTube, I'm on the wrong one. That's why. YouTube. YouTube play button. You smaller. Oh, that one's looking a bit out, isn't it? Position. Back, back, back. That's why. I was less, and I thought that was looking funny. Okay, make sure we've got our full face in there. Play. Okay, looks good. Okay, download. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to go back to the landing page builder and add that in. So, yeah, change this. Change. PNG. Open. Oh, resize much better. Not to leave diabetes in a few days. Watch, okay, much better. Play. Cool. So now what I have to do is I have to change all the links on my landing page because I want, obviously, I want my tracker to be tracking everything. So what I have to do is all the links within this landing page, I have to then change them to my links. So what I'll do is I'll head over to volume, grab my click URL, put my click URL in this lander, and then I'll change all links, save, publish, and then we're good to go for the lander. Then we can go and get images and get some headlines. So that's me in the tracker now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab my click URL. So this is obviously assigned to me. So I can go ahead and do that here. I'll just grab my tracking URL and I'll grab this. So make sure I've got that copied. Yep, copied. Head back in the landing page builder. I want page info. I want to paste that in there. I want to change all links. Links updated. So I want to make sure I save that. And then what I want to do is I want to publish that. And I want to publish that live. Save, so that's been saved there. Let's click on that. So I need, this is how it's going to look. So I need that link for later in the tracker. So I'm going to leave that open. And now what I need to do is, I need to go and head back in and I need to go and grab some creatives and some images. So I'll go back in here. So this is the steps for it. What I've done so far is, we've found an offer, we've built the landing page. Now we need to go and find some images and I need to go and write some headlines. So while I'm here, I can just do the headlines because back in the offer which was here it was giving me some headlines which was actually down here wasn't it so it was green veggie eliminate inflammates blood sugar so erratic so i'm going to take this one here and i'm going to i'm going to mix it up a little bit so green veggie inflames blood sugar okay so i'm going to head back to my headlines so i'm so could this green veggie be inflaming be, be the be the ah be the root cause I can't spell diabetes. I'm going to let her count that because I don't want it to be too much. Quickly do a little letter count. See what I'm saying. I want it quite short. 58. Could this green veggie be the root cause of diabetes? Yeah, okay. So I'm leaving a bit of curiosity in there. I've got the problem. I've got the curiosity in there. And then, um, 
obviously it's going to want, I want something that's going to spark a bit of curiosity for the reader to click. So I'm going to take that headline and I'm going to use that headline. So that's cool. I'm going to actually use that headline. Now what I need to do is I need to go and find some images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Adstera itself and I'm going to check the image dimensions because that can be quite important. A lot of ad exchanges are different. Some it doesn't really matter, but some specify what uh, dim dimensions that they want. So what I'll do is I'll head over to Adstera and I'll quickly check that just before I go and grab some images and I don't waste any of my time. So here I am here, I'm inside Adstera and what I want to find out is I want to find out the, the dimensions for my um, creative. So what I want to do is, because I don't want to go and waste any time, I just want to go and quickly find out because you do that many different traffic sources that have all got different dimensions. So you just want to, I just want to quickly jump in and just check just to make sure. So um, what I'll need to do is I'll need to select what type I'm doing so it's going to give me creative and I don't want to do adult, <laughs> I want to do mainstream. I'm not really the adult type of guy. Uh, choose file, so 320 by 240, 350k, uh, okay, okay, so cool, so 320 by 240, so that's cool, so that's gave me um, the dimension size that I need, so which is fine, which is means I could go and grab almost any images um, online, so what I'm going to do is, that means that we can go and start looking for images um, online and let's go and take a look so uh, I can close that so what did I say green veggies I want to ideally want to have someone holding it holding a green veggie those always work well so what I can do is I can jump in here close that what did, he, what did it say there uh, 320 by 240 328 by 240 create new design close green veggies ideally I want someone holding it so I'm going to actually put that in so um, person holding holding weird green veggies see what we'll get here oh look at that <laughs> see if that would work well um We've got anything. Wow. Oh, like that. Okay, let's use that. Save the majors. We'll say um diabetes image two. Save. Like that as well, maybe not fit the dimensions. That one's good. Same one though. One goal, let's go different. In fact, you know what I'll do? I'll do the see more. What else comes up? Oh, he looks happy with himself. Look at him. Oh, he's a happy, happy guy. That's quite cool actually. Mm, the contrast though, it's too much green in the back. What great contrast. I want some good contrast in there. Keep looking. Okay, 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 okay. Something good contrast. So we've got here same ones okay let's go back let's take a step back where were we let's start again we've got here see more let's have it here Come on, this one's alright, but the contrast not that great. What have we got? Oh, 
Oh, this one's all right. Oh, I like that. Mm, the contrast may be not that great, but... Okay, I'm going to use that save image as diabetes. Save. Oh, okay, let's head over to Canva and upload. Upload. Upload media. I'm gonna use you, wasn't it? And you. Yep. Come on, then. I'm gonna take you. How are you gonna fit? I'm gonna change your contrast on this. Image. Sorry there, bring that down a bit. Cool. Let me drop the contrast on that actually because it's maybe a bit too much. Yeah, that's about right. Cool. Do that. Uh download. Download. PNG. Cool, cancel that. Next one is this one. See how this one's gonna line up. Oh, sweet. Brighten that up a bit and then just see if we can drop the contrast in. There. It's fine, that looks a bit better. Cool, download, download. Okay, all good. So, we have Built the funnel, we've got the landing page, we've got the images, we've got the headlines. Um, so what we'll have to do now is we're going to head into the tracker and then set everything up in the tracker, ready to then create the campaign within Adstera. So what we'll do is we'll go and go ahead and we'll go and do that. So that's us here within the tracker, ready to set up the campaign. So what we need to do is we need to add in the offer URL, we need to add in the lander URL, we need to create a flow of traffic, and then we need to create a campaign. So what you're going to have to do is add in your affiliate network first, which is simple enough, you just add an affiliate network, create affiliate network, and then click back, auto-populate, and you just go to next. I'm not going to do that because I've already got the integration. Simple enough. You just click next, and then that's you. Traffic sources is exactly the same. Traffic source, click create. Traffic source, what you're going to do is you're going to select um, your traffic source, whichever one you're using. In this case, we're using Adstera. But select that, set up the integration, and then go ahead and select next. And then that's the traffic source and the affiliate network added in. I'm not going to do that because I've already, we've already done it. Simple enough, you just click it, click next, and that's it. And then that's that done. So, next, th first thing we have to do is go and add in an offer. So what I'll do is I'll go and add in an offer. So we'll go create, offer, use this. Affiliate network is ClickBank. And I'm going in the United States. So I'm going to do this, diabetes. Diabetes Freedom was it called? Freedom YouTube Demo Offer URL So that's when you need to go back in the Clickbank Do 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 Go here I want to promote Generate hot links Create that Back into my tracker Add that in I'm going to add the tracking in ID, cool, and then that's the offer added in, and then what I need to do is I need to go and add in the lander, so I'll add in my lander, so I need to create lander, make sure it's on the same workspace, United States, ah, United Kingdom, mistake, United States, lander, and you grab the lander URL, this one, and then I need to go back into the tracker, add in my lander URL, verify, all good, just let you see that part there. So what that's doing is volumes actually verifying this landing page, making sure that it's got the my click URL added onto it. So I don't go ahead and just start my campaign and I've not got the click URL added in there and volume can't track any metrics. So that's why it's verifying the landing page. So I'll go ahead and I'll save that. 
So save. Oh, that's why it's not letting me save because I'm not in it. So what do I call that there? Diabetes Freedom YouTube. Save. Then I need to create a flow. Create flow. So I'm gonna call this this is in United States Diabetes Flow. So I need to create a path within the flow. Actually, I've done something wrong there. Uh, Landers offers double meta fresh. That's it. That's selected right now. New path. I'm just new path name. Select Lander. It was diabetes. Freedom. Where are we? Tell you what I'm doing. Just type in YouTube. YouTube Mandarin workspace back and close this close form create flow can't retag ah I'm in the wrong workspace that's why Ross so that's there YouTube and I was United States United States new path Double meta fresh, select the lander, type in YouTube, should come up now. Diabetes, YouTube, Diabetes, that's it. Save, I'm going to save that. Now what I need to do is I need to go and create the campaign so I can grab the campaign URL. So what I'll do is I'll just head over to campaigns. When it loads, <laughs> create a simple campaign. Uh, workspace, make sure it's in the same workspace. So this is going to be ads. There are, yep, global, United States. And this is going to be diabetes. Probably not even spelling that right. Diabetes. If I'm not spelling it right, or I've not been spelling it right, make sure to correct me in the comments below. Diabetes Freedom YouTube Demo uh, Redirect Okay, so I'm going to add in a flow Move me over here I want to select the flow So it was YouTube Diabetes Cool And then I'm going to hit save And what I should do is generate me a campaign URL which is here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that over to Adstera and then I'm going to create the campaign within Adstera so we'll go ahead and we're going to do that so that's me in the Adstera dashboard and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and create this campaign within Adstera now we've got our campaign URL that we've just created here we've done all of our steps or we've found an offer we've built the funnel built the landing page got some creatives we've got the headline here which we're going to use We've also set the campaign up in the tracker. We've grabbed the campaign URL, which is what we've done here. And now what we need to do is create the campaign within the direct traffic source. So how we do that? So campaigns, create. And what I'm going to call this is uh, diabetes. Diabetes. No doubt I'm spelling this wrong. Diabetes. Freedom. YouTube. Campaign. Okay, so traffic source. Okay, I want all traffic um, because I want to select all traffic. Bidding type. So this is down to you which bidding type you want to you want to go for. Adster is obviously giving you the choice here. They're giving you the choice uh, the choice of CPM beginner friendly, C, which means the traffic's going to get equally distributed among, amongst your creatives. CPC, which is more like 
your best creatives are it's a little bit more advanced your best creatives are going to kind of pull more of the traffic you've got to optimize more on reach cpas cost per acquisition which is a lot super advanced so i'm not even going to touch on that um so yeah i'm going to run a cpc model so that's like intermediate advanced type uh, marketing on when running native and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go native banner so I'm obviously going to select native banner because that's what I'm going to use. And I'm not going to run adult. I'm going to run mainstream. Definitely not running adult. And what I want to do is I want to pop in my campaign URL in here. So I've copied that. and I'll pop that in there. Campaign URL. So desktop format. Uh, the device format, sorry. So I'm going to select desktop. And I'm coming down here. And I said I was going to go in the United States. So United States and it should auto populate a recommended bid floor which is telling me 0 0.041 so i'm going to come in at 0 0.10 i'm just going to start there and then that should be cool so that's going to tell me how many clicks i'm going to get per day at that bid price um so here i've got my headline and i've already checked the characters so there's 64 characters it's given me here let's see how that works Cool, it's working fine. And what I want to do is I want to add one of my images in here as well. So I'll click here to choose a file. And where are the PNGs? How big are they? Let's go for this one. Open. And pull this right up. Pull it right out. Oh. up to there cool i want to have that there so that's it taking forever to load don't know why there we go there done cool so what we'll do is we'll add well we'll add one more creative yeah we're going to add it in Add one more creative. Um, and what we can do is we're going to write another headline actually to split test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back over to here. So erratic blood sugar. Never eat this veggie. Erratic blood sugar. Avoid this healthy green veggie. I wonder if that fits actually because that's actually quite good just on its own. Cool. That fits. And then I'm going to add this open I wait four hours on this loading up again <laughs> I may just cut <laughs> come on cool so that's us now we've got our two creatives so budget I'm going to go 240 a day unlimited I'm going to check time or start after verification. So what that means is um, as soon as the campaign gets approved from the moderation team, the campaign will just go ahead and start spending. So that's up to you if you want to obviously leave that, keep an active. Like I'd probably choose keep an active to be honest. Um, so then once it gets approved, then I'm in full control when I can start the campaign. So I'd probably do that. Targeting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for language targeting here. I want to what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that open because I want to track, I want to leave my target in as broad as possible. The reason being is because I want to see what's going on within the tracker so then I can see what's working and then what's not working and then what I can do is I can eliminate um, things that are not working which is bleeding me money and then I could actually double down on things that are actually working. So that's what I want to do there. Carbon limit, so it's giving me frequency carbon limit. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to keep it at two impressions every 24 hours and I don't want to do a limit. And then it's going to go total budget. So I'm going to go daily. So I'm just going to unlimited total budget. So it's 250, did I say? 250 a day and then hourly. So it's giving me an option to spend my budget evenly through the day. So I'll just do, um, what I'll do is I'll make that easier. So what I'll do is I'll do a daily budget at 240. And I'll do $10 a day. So that's going to spend, if the traffic's available, that's going to spend $10 each hour, every hour, uh, evenly throughout the day. So advanced settings. Oh, here we go here. Blacklist or whitelist. So 
blacklist or a whitelist. So that what you would do there is with Adstera is you would just get in contact with your account manager and your account manager would then supply you with a blacklist or a whitelist. A whitelist is obviously a list which is probably what you want um, because that's obviously going to be a list of placements that are proven to convert for that vertical in that geo. So you'd probably be better going off a, off a whitelist and then a blacklist is a list of placements that are proven not to convert which is going to be a bigger list of placements which is broader. Both of pros and cons. Pros to the whitelist obviously being that it's probably got more chance to convert and cons to the whitelist is probably it's got less reach so less scalability pros to the blacklist the scalability and, the, and you're creating your own whitelist um, from that blacklist and then cons to the blacklist is that it's a broader spectrum of placements uh, widget IDs which means it's probably going to take a little bit longer and a little bit more spend to get the campaign up and running but that's basically it and then all we would do there is we would just go ahead and we would just click submit um, so there's something that I've missed. Mainstream desktop, uh, United States, total unlimited. So that's something I've not submitted. And placements. Oh, it's probably just because I'm not added in the placements. That's probably why. Um, yeah, so it's giving me a preview of the campaign here. So this is everything that I've got here. Giving me a full preview of the campaign. It's just because I've not added in the blacklist or the whitelist, which I would go ahead and do it with my account manager because I'm not, I'm not going to run this. I'm running a network in the United States because that would cost me an absolute fortune. So yeah, that's basically it for this Adstera native advertising campaign with a Nutra product for ClickBank. We have covered all the steps. We've went from step one to step four. We've found an offer, built a funnel, created, created, our, uh, created our funnel, landing page, images, headlines. We've then set up everything in the tracker and then we've created the campaign within Adstera. So I really hope you enjoyed this video of watching me build a native advertising campaign using ClickBank with a Nutra product with the traffic source Adstera. If you do have any questions or you've got any comments, go ahead, please leave them in the comment section below. Myself or anyone from the agency will get back to you. We read and reply to each and every single comment. So go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you did like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe as well and hit that little bell icon so you get notified each and every time we post the video. Now, if you do want to know more about our agency, what we do, what kind of services that we offer, because we run coaching, consulting, courses, everything to do with native advertising, whether you're just getting started with affiliate marketing or whether you're running a business and you're looking to take it to the next level from six figures to even seven figures per month, what you can do is, I'll leave a little link in the description below. You can click the link, book in your free strategy session, and you can go ahead and get yourself booked in. But other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.